Storm Team 29 forecast. Well, as expected, the clouds certainly won out today. Hello, I'm Storm Team 29 meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. This weather in review time lapse from Charlottesville today shows us a nice Sunday sunrise. Temperatures were in the teens and 20s at daybreak. We had a break of sun this morning, followed by those clouds filling on in out ahead of a, a weak weather disturbance that's passing overhead right now. And it is producing mostly cloudy skies and a couple of snow flurries in parts of the area. Right now, temperatures are mostly above freezing, mid to upper 30s on both sides of the blue Ridge. NBC 29's exclusive dual pole triple off radar will show not a lot of precipitation reaching the ground because the dew points, the moisture in the atmosphere is very low. It's a dry atmosphere. So what you see on the radar picture not quite reaching the ground. Just before the commercial break, I went outside, looked out there, and in downtown Charlottesville, I didn't see any precipitation reaching the ground. However, there could be some flurries or some grapple, a little sleet out here east of the Blue Ridge. We've seen a few flurries make their way over the Alleghenies into portions of the Shenandoah Valley in the past couple of hours, but little to no impact at all on the roadways with this particular system. And you can see back to the west, this little weather disturbance is drying up as it crosses the high country of West Virginia and the Appalachians. So we get rid of this this system and we can expect a dry late night into the first part of Monday, but already tracking a developing storm system over the deep south from Texas, Louisiana. This one ahead our way by tomorrow afternoon, giving us mostly a chilly rain and yes, even some ice for parts of the area. Let's track it now hour by hour. Here we are this evening, not a whole lot going on overnight into tomorrow morning. Cloudier skies, not quite as cold. Here's 8 a.m. Pretty dry across the area, but then by lunchtime, a cold rain arrives from southwest to northeast. Here's 5 p.m. widespread cold rain with areas of ice over the higher elevations of the Blue Ridge, pockets of ice in the Shenandoah Valley drying out on Tuesday. So after a cloudy start, the sunshine breaks out later on Tuesday and you can see the ice potential. The Blue Ridge Mountains later tomorrow and tomorrow night could have a quarter to a half inch of ice on elevated surfaces. The Shenandoah Valley pockets of ice, a tenth of an inch or of ice or so, but that's mainly on those uh, elevated surfaces. Watch those bridges and overpasses, but I I think a large part of the area, the lowlands, will be above freezing tomorrow and tomorrow night. A half inch to an inch of rain is likely tomorrow into tomorrow night. Next big thing I'm tracking for the Weather Center is a couple of storm systems that will merge over our area later on Wednesday night into Thursday morning. And it still looks like some wet snow is possible, but it does look like right now it's a light snow event. Forecast models are in agreement that Thursday morning enough snow to perhaps cause a few slick spots. We'll keep you updated overnight. Mostly cloudy lows near freezing for your Monday. High temperatures going above freezing mid to upper 30s, low 40s, pockets of ice mainly across the higher elevations with that cold rain in the afternoon and into tomorrow night. Michael and Sun seven day drying out Tuesday highs near 50 upper 40s and dry on Wednesday and watching for a potential light snow event on Thursday morning.